Fidel Castro has died. He is dead at 90 years old. The city of Miami, Florida is celebrating. All the Cubans who fled Cuba when Fidel Castro took over in 1959, they all, most of them went to Miami, some to Las Vegas, New York, LA, but they all, they're all in celebration today for the man who made them run from their country, Fidel Castro, the man who kicked out all the Americanos, all the American corporations who owned Cuba. Castro kicked them out, he took over their assets, and then the Cuban people had to suffer. All the Cuban people who were left over, who, who could not flee, they had to suffer for over 50 years of Castro's regime. Make no mistake about it, the Cuban people suffered immensely under Castro. And now we ponder, was this all supposed to happen? Some people say that everything happens for a reason. Was it some huge universal agenda out there that we're not aware of that said, hey, there had to be the time for Castro to kick out all the Americanos who own Cuba. And then the Cuban people would take over Cuba. Maybe you have to take two steps back before you can go ten steps forward. I don't know the answers. All I know that in Miami, Florida, they are celebrating with all their heart that Fidel Castro is dead. And it appears that capitalism will come back to Cuba. You see, even though you have a strong leader like the El Presidente, Fidel Castro was a huge presence. All the poor peasants of Cuba respected him like they would respected none, none other. Yes, the poor Cubans who did not have a lot of money back in the day, they love, they love Fidel Castro. For, for every Miami citizen who hates Castro, there is a poor peasant in Cuba who respects Fidel Castro. So there's a flip side to this coin. But the, uh, the Cuban people suffered. That is something that we cannot ever forget. So on this day, today, November 26th, 2016, we will make a note for historical references that Fidel Castro has died. He's finally gone and may capitalism finally come back to Cuba where it belongs. You see, it was Margaret Thatcher who said many, many years ago, you see, socialism and communism, it doesn't work. It never will work because sooner or later you run out of other people's money to spend. So say what you will about Fidel Castro. He was a strong leader. He outlived many presidents. What was it, like 10 presidents he outlived? He, he ruled Cuba with such a strong arm, with, a, with such a strong hand, he was able to command Cuba that the peasants, the peasants, even though they suffered, they looked up to that monster. But he's dead and gone now, and Miami celebrates. Fidel Castro will go down in history. That island a little south of the American Empire, and Fidel Castro put his nose up. He put his thumb in the eye of the American Empire, and that's probably what his historical mark on this world would be, that Fidel Castro, the leader of a small island south of the American Empire, he was able to put his thumb in the eye of the American Empire. That's you're not going to be able to erase from history. But at this point, you may want to turn the video off because what I did a couple days ago, just by coincidence, a couple days ago I made a little video about the Cuban gene. And it was a weird video. I was probably not even going to upload it. 
I made this video a couple days ago. What's coming up? I made it a couple days ago. And like I said, I was probably just going to throw it away. But just by coincidence, Fidel Castro is now dead. And I'm saying, hey, is there any relevant, relevant city? Do, do these go together? So at this point, you may want to turn the video off because now I'm going to go off onto a little tangent about how the Cuban DNA goes back to the Roman Iberian. So, I mean, it gets crazy. It gets crazy. But uh, I'm just giving you a warning. You should turn the video off now or expect to hear some crazy stuff. So here it comes. Some crazy mind thoughts I was thinking about the Cuban DNA. Yeah, it gets pretty weird. Here you go. The gene pool is a funny thing. Like everything else, there are some good genes and there are some bad genes. Today we're going to be talking about gene pool creme de la creme. The finest, the finest gene pool known to mankind. The gene pool we're going to be talking about today, you could trace it back to the pyramids. Even before the pyramids, we're talking about a gene pool that went straight back to Greece. The Phoenicians. Oh, they hung around the pyramids for a while. And then off they went to the Roman Empire. And each time that this gene pool moved from Greece to Egypt to Rome, it got stronger, it diversified. What if, what if you could trace back your gene pool to the Roman Empire? And then it moved over to the Iberian Peninsula. And each time this superior gene moved, it diversified and got stronger. And you were blessed with this gene pool from the finest that the world had to offer. What if, what if you were blessed? Because some of us are not blessed. Trust me on that one. Some of us don't have that type of gene. Yes, we waddle around like mere mortals. But yet, there are people who carry the gene pool that goes all the way back to the Greek gods. When they hung around the pyramids and off to the Roman Empire they went. And then they moseyed on over to the Iberian Peninsula. But they didn't stop there, did they? No. They did not stop at the Iberian Peninsula. They sailed across the ocean blue to Cuba. And like I said, each and every time this gene moved, it diversified, it got stronger. What if you were blessed with this gene? What if? I, I beg to wonder. Because like I said, most of us just walk around with just the normal genes. You know how that feels. But if you did have that gene... That the world, the finest gene the world had to offer, straight from Cuba. Yes, many people don't know that gene can be traced back as far back as I've already said. Would you use steroids? Would you use drugs and alcohol to destroy that gene? Well, some of us do. And it's a sin. It's a sin. But the moral of the story is some of us are blessed with some pretty good genes. We should drink a lot of water. Yes, that's the moral of the story. That's the moral of the story. Drink a lot of water. Good day.